Robin, what are the dangers and difficulties in mounting a rescue operation like this? Well, in this particular case, what's happened is we've got an immediate action plan. An immediate action plan is what happens when a commander arrives on the ground and he has to make a plan before he has time to uh, accumulate all the information and intelligence. Um, and in so doing, he's prepared for the worst. Uh, so an immediate action is something that happens when you arrive on the ground, the terrorists start to kill the hostages and the men have to go in. They go in blind, they have very limited amount of information. It's the worst case scenario for a counter-terrorist team. You don't know uh, where the hostages are, you don't know where the terrorists are, you have limited information on their weapons, and um, you've got to go in and hope for the best. This is exactly the sort of scenario uh, the soldiers on the ground dread, because they're having to go in essentially blind and do the best they can. The picture is still pretty unclear, but there are reports of a two-hour gun battle. Does that sound like a special forces operation to you? No, it doesn't sound like anything the special forces would have been involved in. It's more than likely that the local forces would have put a cordon in place and the terrorists would have actually engaged them with fire. Um, by the time the counter-terrorist team were on the ground and ready to carry out a job, um, perhaps the, the mission had already failed, essentially, because there's a high likelihood that people of this nature would have already killed their hostages. That's what I was going to ask you, the fact that extreme Islamist groups in the past have shown very little regard for their own lives, let alone the lives of hostages. That must be a factor that's in the back of the rescue team's mind. That's right. I mean, this is um, essentially a lose-lose situation. If you sit down and do absolutely nothing and they kill the hostages, people will accuse you of uh, procrastination and doing nothing. What's, uh, if, you, if you go in and uh, the hostages are killed, they accuse you of a failure. Whereas, uh, essentially, you know, the soldiers have put themselves in immense amount of danger to do a job that nobody else in the world can do um, in the hope that they're going to get something out of the mission. Um, had we lost two soldiers uh, in, order to re to, in order to rescue two hostages, it would have been a very bad trade-off. So I think the world should be grateful that they even tried. Um, I know that every rescue operation is unique, but do you get the sense that missions like this are getting harder? I don't think they're getting harder. I think that uh, there are more of them. And as the, fa as the fact that the Special Air Service and the Special Boat Service and Special Forces Group is spread very thin on the ground with the demands of Afghanistan, um, they are more difficult to put into place, but they still are regarded as the people with the greatest success record. And it's clear why the Nigerians asked for their assistance, because we have a very good track record in this regard, and um, we very rarely get it wrong.